Now we've got the Google side set up. We've got the, so the Google side's being set up. It was through, watch these videos, how to get the Google service account set up correctly. Then what, then we've got the uh, access token and a sheet ID and we've shared the sheet. Next thing is we want to append and update that spreadsheet. So the use case for this is you know really common. Um, every time someone like adds a score or uh, gives some comments, you basically just want to append a spreadsheet or update a spreadsheet. So um, the cool thing about this plugin is that you can pass objects like a whole fully blown bubble object, like a user or a, you know just a thing in your database, or you can specify column A, B, C, D, well, up to 25 columns. So it just depends which of those make sense to you. Um, if you you know just quickly want to quickly synchronize a bubble database with a uh, Google Sheet, then just pass the object and let the plugin look after it. Um, and um, so just diving into the into the workflows a little bit. So uh, this is append a thing. So the thing we're putting into the database is just a database thing. So that can be any database thing. This is randomly cho randomly choosing a database thing to put into the database, and it's appending it. If I said no and gave it a row number, then it would uh, be updating it. It would update that particular row, um, and that's what this is doing here. I'm saying no, don't don't append, and update row number two. So you can do an append and an update. Run and number six, this one down here, this is where I want to append or update a row with uh, particular columns. So in the plugin is this, um, you, you know, you pass the access token, the sheet ID, and you're just specifying columns A, B, C, D, E, all the way down to columns 25. And um, I started off naming them A, B, C, D, but then after a while it's just, you know, it's just numbered. But they're all the same, basically everything in, um, everything in these columns A to, num to 25, they just put, go in there. So this gives the opportunity here, if you want to format each column, yep, you know, say there's a particular column, you need, you wanted to sp change the format as you updated. And, uh, so that's 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 doing updating and inserting.